Okay, progression one of the trapezius activation. Um, this activation progression I'm giving you here was taught to me by uh, Brent Brockbush at the Brockbush Institute of Human Movement Science, and he's given me permission to video this and then pass it on to yourself. So thanks, Brent, for that. Um, what we need, right, this one, is a foam roller, a towel, and some kind of cushioning for your forehead. Um, you can see I've got quite a short foam roller. You can have a longer one. A longer one will give you more stability. A short one's fine though. Um, and this one is quite Q heavy, so there's quite a lot of things to take in. So I'll talk you through them all. Uh, and one, but once you've got these cues, you'll see they're repeated through a lot of the progression. So once you've got them, it'll make everything else a lot easier. One thing I'll talk about is a join in maneuver. When I say perform a drawing in maneuver, and those of you who've done Pilates and similar such exercises will be familiar with it. But when we draw in, all you want to do is think about your belly button and think about drawing it down towards your spine and then up towards your rib cage. Okay. And whenever you draw in, always ensure that you continue to breathe because there's a tendency to try and hold your breath. But we're activating the TBA, which has an attachment onto the diaphragm, and we need those two to work in conjunction with each other. So it's an important breathe when you draw in. Right, um, we'll go through it. When I play, when I, I'm going to lie on this roller, when I lie on it, this is my um, clavicle here, my collarbones. You'll see that the roller sits just beneath them and it sits on my sternum like so. Okay, I find that quite uncomfortable with, you know, with softer rollers it's okay, but I like to just put a towel over it because I find it's a lot of pressure on my sternum and so a towel just softens that and this is just something for me to rest my forehead on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie like I say with the roller just beneath my collarbone and my head rested on this small tail here with my hands down to the side the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my toes down and possibly the heel, uh, the heel of my foot. Um, you got them. And then I'm going to perform that drawing in manoeuvre and then lift my head like so. And then with my head lifted, I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together and push them down. Then I'm going to lift my arms just to about waist height and push them down to the floor. I'll then hold in this position for four seconds and then relax. And I'll be coming up for two, holding for four, and down for two. When you feel like you've got that connect, you can add to it by adding something called triple extension. So what we'll do is we'll go back into the same way. So roll them in the same position, toes on the floor, draw in, lift the head, but now I'm going to lock my knees and squeeze my glutes. Then I will pull my shoulder blades back together, push them down and lift my hands down to the floor. Again, holding for four seconds. When you're bringing your arms up, don't lift them all the way back. What you're reaching for is your toes, not the ceiling, okay? And when you, as you come up, you should just feel the top of your sternum come off the roller. You're not going all the way back into extension, you're just lifting slightly and ensuring that your nose is pointing at the floor the whole time. And that's it, easy as that.